Hey everybody, Papa here with uh, a couple things. A quick little update on this year uh, 32 that I'm doing. I guess I should show everybody real quick here what it is. That, that bad boy right there. Got a little bit done. Uh, like everybody else who's having trouble, it's too cold to paint. So I'm working, I'll probably get the motor done tonight. Got the interior done. How's that for a wild interior? Imagine sitting in that for an eight hour trip. But I thought it looked cool, kind of give it a 50s look. Changed out the steering wheel. And put those seats in it, because like I said, I pilfered the seats out of this kit for another 32, I think it was. And then there's the wheels and tires that are going on it. I love the old wide whites and the motor is orange and the body is going to be orange and the chassis you know the hood and the inner fenders radiator all that the firewall is going to be white give it a little pop in there and some motor parts there and stuff so that'll look pretty good when it's done have the chrome front end on it and stuff axle and everything i look pretty good but, yeah, I thought maybe we need to take another little trip back in time. So hang on here a sec. I'm going to set up and we'll take a little walk down memory lane. So hang on a sec. Here we are, back again. Take a little walk down memory lane here and show you a few things and kind of reminisce a little bit. A few cars, some accessories, a couple of things. So... Let's uh, let's start walking. Here we go. I thought we'd take a little break from the 32s and the 40s and all that and go with some newer stuff. Well, newer than that, but still pretty old for us. But here is an old uh, Mercury that some youngster built back in the day. And he didn't paint it, but he did some two-tone on the interior, which looks really good. I love that steering wheel. Did the dash detail and stuff. Put the Continental kit on it and all those cool decals. And the side pipes. And the little spinner caps. I attempted to pilfer those, but I got to leave them on here because this is how I found it. Got the scoop. Got the louvers. Got the mirrors. Hey, louvers gone. But, you know, you had to put as much on there as you could, you know. If you could, you put everything on it that came in the kit. Not much down there. Just a neat old build. Uh, it's kind of cool. I think it's, uh, if you, I don't know, late 50s, early 60s. Some of that stuff uh, probably has not on the bumper there, but the Continental gets covered up. Anyway, next up here, we got a uh, Pontiac. And again, let's see how many decals we can put on here I like that right there that's a nice touch and again not painted just some decals neat kit this one here is a 59 he's part of the lone wolf club I guess that's not a club if you're a lone wolf but whatever and there's the interior there and again, these are like a, a style line kit or a craftsman kit I don't know the difference between the style line and the craftsman. I can't remember. If anybody out there remembers, uh, let me know because I can't remember. I know it didn't have motors. See, there it gets chassis. Just no detail of painting or nothing. Just, I mean, these would be so easy to restore if that's what you're into, but I'm not. But again, that's a neat old kit. Got side pipes on that baby too, except on that side. And we got one more here we'll take a look at. I think these are all from the same collection I bought a few years ago. Uh, my wife found it on, uh, on Facebook Marketplace. It's about a two hour drive, but it was worth it. And there's another one that's got the decals on it. Just kind of, you know, let's put a decal there. And one on the door. Put some on the hood with some scoops. Put a little grill on the grill there, a little bullet grill. It's kind of cool. Again, a two-tone white interior. 
in red. That's kind of neat. Yeah, this is cool. And he's another one of the Lone Wolf Club. If it is a club. Looks like he's got the stock hook caps on it. But again, neat old kit. There you go. Oh, you're right there, but that's all right. Got to expect that from these old things. Again, these are really neat. All from the same builder. His, uh, his the guy told his sister, "I don't want them anymore. They were in her garage, so I'll sell them." So she put an ad on. My wife saw it, and we grabbed them and got a screaming deal on all of them. There's a few more I'll show you later. But now let's take a walk down memory lane here and check out this old car modeler magazine look at those bills I don't know if anybody recognizes those or not but we'll find out here in a second but there we go not much going on there let's uh yeah what's cool there is volume one number one 1962 that was a few years ago I wasn't even building models then. I was like four years old or something. But there's a cool build. The bobtailed cat. I guess that's what that says. Really nice. Really nice for back then. That's you know, look at that interior. The headliner. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's what they started with. Gives you an idea how to do it. And it shows you, you know, they're hacking it up. Cut the back off. And they chop the top on it. A little body work and stuff. Guess we should go in order here. And it's pretty neat how they, you know, for for the first issue, they they did a pretty good job. And there it is all done. Kind of kind of cool. And here I've got an article how it tells you how to photograph your model and it explains what they did here on all these for lighting and stuff but the quality of the magazine I guess is so bad I can't see anything what they did they give you some ideas on backdrops and stuff setting up your camera and your lights anybody understand what all that means it's been really hard for a kid to get his while in the magazine you'd have to be an expert on camera taking pictures but here's some more and they explain what they use and everything there's with mirrors which is kind of cool for displaying and they get an article on Mickey Thompson's Challenger and the model kit was just getting ready to come out so they were kind of promoting it a little bit that's a fun kit to build. I never did try that one. Those Rebel kits were really fun. Let's see here. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, engine detailing back in the day. Check that out. They drills, drilling things out, making a dipstick. Uh, and that, look at that. Pretty cool. There we're getting the distributor going, drilling it out, putting it all on and everything. There we go. Look at the size of that drill bit. Yeah, it's kind of cool. They did that back in the day. That was like crazy stuff. Here's how to do upholstery. You could buy a upholstery kit right there. That upholstery kit kind of kind of looks like that. Yeah, 49 cents from a surplus store here that used to be around. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Probably mm, 80s when I got up at 49 cents. I don't know what the price was originally, but that's pretty cool. You go on the back there. Kind of tells you what to do and everything. Neat old piece. There's a license. There's some uh, club plaques there. Anyway, that tells you how to do the upholstery. And uh, there it is. Looks pretty good in the picture anyway. There it is in the car. Looks really good. This is 1962 we're looking at here, so this is pretty cool. 
there's a reader showcase so check that one out that's a nice display I did a few like that back in the day let's check out that crazy thing there wow pretty cool and then uh, here's another model I don't know if anybody remembers this guy Dave Shuklis I had to get I can never remember how to say his name but he was a crazy model builder back in the day I think he had uh, MS or, or, or uh, some kind of a disability but man could he build models for the day he was uh, pretty famous and look at that interior there and the motor opening the doors that's tough on this one because this kit had a separate top if I remember right at least the one old one I built did it's gonna make a roadster or a coupe out of it so you gotta get the top on and then cut the doors open it's crazy anyway the guy is amazing going anyway, roll up windows from him the Dave Shuklis guy I mean, look at that, making roll-up windows in a model. How crazy is that? Uh, for back, he's way ahead of the game, man, way ahead of the game. Here's another one of these cars. That one's the other one that's on the cover. And there we go, that's the 36. I mean, look at that color. I wish they still made that color, that interior. Man, that's nice. But anyway, this one here is pretty cool. Kind of explains what he did a little bit. Now a little article about the outlaw coming out and Ed Roth there. And some kid, and I, you know, he shows after it's done because that was a pain of a kit for a little kid to build. And then there's that designing a car scholarship thing again. And there's a bunch of winners there. I don't know if they do that anymore. Here's uh, explaining the car. You know, deck and roof and all that stuff. Uh, just a lot of cool information. There's a what's uh car model goes shopping. So what's new? That's that metal flake Ravel bodies they did for a while. Uh, I found a box for that kit at our toy club meeting, and it's a little auction we have. And man, that guy bid way up there. I tried getting it, but he went way higher than me. There's a saw you could get. Little, oh, the mini men. I got one of those here. See what that looked like originally. Look at that. Ain't that cool? They look kind of small to me, but I guess that's right. I don't know. But that's a pretty neat little thing. Like 59 cents. I don't remember where I got these. There it tells you how to flip it over here. It tells you how to put it together. That way you don't get the right arm on the left side or the leg where the arm goes or something get the shoes in the right spot so anyway and then uh, there's a new release there from monogram what do we got over here that thing's cool uh, I think I have one as I should or something like that I should have got it showed you uh, and there's that real fine tape you do pinstriping with there's Ravel parts packs I'll show you some of those in a minute and there's the a la carte just coming out. Exacto stuff. Another saw. And uh, you could order that kit from Auto World and you get the kit and then you get the, the Dave uh, Shuklis instructions for the converting it into that, which is uh, pretty cool. He did a lot of stuff for, uh, for Auto World. And then there was the uh, HO slot cars, which he used. Look at that Grand National competition sponsored by Ford. Check that. Out. Here, let me show you. Got one of those little things here. Here's a little. Uh, there we go. 62 Ford pickup. Got this at a garage sale at my neighbor's house. Oh, geez, probably 20 years ago. Cleaned out his basement, was getting rid of all these childhood toys. I got a bunch of cool stuff from him. But that was pretty big back then. HO, I think, was just starting out, I think. And then you could do the autorama thing there. And just what we're. And then here's a, another Dave 
Shukless build. Check that thing out. Pretty cool. A lot of crazy custom work he did on that thing. Look at that profile. Man, that's just so cool. Guy was amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then just some ads and stuff. Get your pack Pactra paint, which yeah, that's around no more. And then right there was a subscription thing. And the guy uh, filled it out and sent it in because he probably bought this at the store. Oh man, I gotta subscribe to that. There's the old Auto World ad. Oh yeah, back in the day. Lots of cool stuff. That catalog there, I was bidding on that on eBay a couple years ago. Darn thing went for like 80 bucks or some stupid thing. So I didn't get that. And there's the old new monogram stuff. The 30, I'd like to find that. And that what I really like to find is that right there. I got a beat up one. I found it a swabby, but I really like to find that. I love that 30. And there's a 36. And there's the slot track. And there's a cool ad. What's new in 62? See, there's the style line there. I guess it just no motor comes with parts. But then what's the craftsman? Does that just come with parts and no motor too? I'm confused. I'm old and I can't remember. Anyway, this is kind of taking a while, but hang on a sec. And I want to show you some of those uh, parts packs real quick. Okay, here's some parts packs up here that I got from that White Elephant store. Uh, I don't want to open them. They're kind of cool. They had 19 cents. 19 cents. They didn't know what they were worth back then. So, And they had them for a long time. Nobody was really into them. I mean, a few other guys were buying them, but there's the motor. Strikes for frame. There's a phantom body. Bubble tops, pretty cool stuff. Dre, I did build a few of those because I bought a lot of them. You know, for 19 cents when they regularly like 70 cents or something. Ooh, 69, then I went up to 70 for the wheels. Wow. And hang on a sec, I'll show you an old AMT one. Drag strip accessories. I guess you could use that for something. So anyway, I thought it'd be cool. Take a little walk down memory lane here. Reminisce the good old days, excuse me, of model building. It was a lot of fun. Wish I'd have been around for some of that, but luckily you can buy this stuff. It's not very cheap anymore, so I'm glad I got it when I did. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to all my subscribers. I've got quite a few new ones. I really appreciate it. I'm really kind of... Uh, surprised how well it's going it's uh it, it it's pretty cool i'm having lots of fun and i enjoy uh sharing this stuff with you guys looking at your stuff and comments and everything so keep them coming comments good or bad let me know and uh, everybody take care and we'll see you next time bye